Hi, Daniel. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for helping my project. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, did you know that NASA's planning to send astronauts back to the moon? I heard about it. I did hear about it. Um, would you be surprised that most of the people I talk to have no clue? Um, yes. Well, no, no. I would not be surprised that people do not know about it. Yeah. Um, what do you think about it? Um, I think it's interesting because, uh, boy, get into my thoughts about if we ever went there in the first place. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard so, that before. They're like, yeah. I, we hope we get there this time. I've heard that, that phrase specifically. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, so from what I, I've heard, cause I read about it a lot through my twenties was that the biggest obstacle for them getting back was getting through the Van Allen belt. Okay. And the radiation that would pretty much stop any human from getting through and surviving that mission. Hmm. So I think it would be interesting to see like what protective gear they've come up with that's allowed them to pass through that. And uh, you know, I mean, uh, last year they tested the Orion and the SLS mm -hmm. um, that's gonna carry like people and next year they plan to, to launch it. So we'll, yeah. we'll actually uh, have people that made it through the Van Allen uh, belt uh, yeah. recently, uh, you know, kind of be able to share their experiences. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about the future of humanity, say like uh, 200 years out, uh, mm -hmm. what does it look like to you? 200 years out. Um, I think we're going to be using a lot of magnetic energy um, and propulsion. Um, I think that we'll be able to use... I think resources are going to be derived from different places by then. I think um, there's so much more technology even out there now that could potentially be being used that we're not being told about. I know the potential for like uh, 10G um, communication capabilities are out there. Um, so I, I'm just interested to see because all, all that science happens on such a molecular level. Um, it's it's a lot to comprehend so i think that when looking at the grand scheme of things i think that science is going to be a lot more zoomed inwards um which is going to allow us to expand out okay yeah like uh I, I like Neuralink, for example, with like the, the little chips that go in your head. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. like connected to everything, everybody all the time. Ho hopefully not that crazy. I mean, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not too thrilled about the sharing of information like that. But I mean, I do think that, that will, those types of projects will obviously become a lot more mainstream and common. Yeah. Uh, do you think we have people living, uh, you know, like carrying on their lives like normal in other places besides Earth in 200 years? Um, not normal like Earth. Okay. Um, here, I mean, obviously, at least to my knowledge, we're, we're not bound by, um, kind of like, uh, uh, terrestrial travel, mm -hmm. you know, whereas I think if we get to a different planet, um, the, the, there's going to be limits on that, you know, like we're not going to have... Uh, property rights on other planets like we would here mm. um, and just that's the the whole concept of like how property could be owned and used out there is going to be much much different than anything we've ever seen before that'd be uh, interesting to see how that unfolds yeah yeah definitely i mean like everything's already micromanaged at a legislative level so like I can't even imagine how they would like divide jurisdictions up there and <laughs> things like that. It would be ridiculous. Might be <laughs> on the other side. It might be like the the Wild West. Everybody just yeah. goes there and does whatever they want to for a while. Yeah, and that I mean, obviously, you're gonna need money, you know. So like, literally, they will do whatever they please um, because they'll have that t that type of capability to do that. You know what I mean? But like, um, so somebody's gonna have to own that. And then they're going to have to allow people to come there, you know, so it's, it, it'll be like life on another planet will not ever be like it is on Earth, I don't think, at least in the foreseeable future. Mm. Yeah. I, I envision like these big domed cities right. where like maybe in, like it's a bubble of Earth, you know, it's right. Like, uh, you go outside of that. It's, game it's over. Like, game over. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. That would be the difference, you know, so. Um, if you could, would you take a trip to space? Oh yeah, totally, I would love that. How far would you go? 
as far as I could. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like even to the next star system? I would, yeah. I mean, shoot, if you guys could get me to Andromeda back safely, I would do that. You know? Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. But what would you do on the trip to entertain yourself? Uh, it depends on how long it would take. I mean, if I'm moving at like speeds that are ridiculous and I probably couldn't do much. Okay. You know? <laughs> so, but um, downtime, I don't know. I mean, look look around you know so. that's awesome i really appreciate your time daniel yeah absolutely thank you thank you yep